Naruto and naked students swim in dirty water to protest for reconstruction of the school's bad road. Futo and naked students swim dirty water as they protest for the reconstruction of the school's bad road. Youths are taking the bull by the horn. Federal University of Technology Oweri, Federal Polytechnic Naked Students in conjunction with indigenous of Ihiagwa and Naked communities protested against the bad situation of the road leading to these two schools. It's important to recall that the immediate past government of the state, led by Right Honorable Emeka Ihidioha, started a construction project on this part, on this particular road before his unfortunate evacuation from office. And since then, the road has been deteriorating and has deteriorated even more. During this busy season, during this raining season, I beg your pardon, it's something else altogether. Buses, bikes, and those using legs find it extremely difficult to access the road. Motorists are taking the advantage to hike the price of transportation, which in return are been suffered by the poor masses. In the quest of expressing their frustration, few students were seen swimming in dirty water with placards. We are begging on government to reconsider students and repair this particular road, the Nazi to Ihiagwa road. There is no better way to make our voice heard rather than through peaceful protests like the ongoing one. We are hopeful that something will be done real quick. Have you used this road recently? Well guys, it is what it is, as the pictures you are seeing can tell, it shows that um, the Nekede Ihiagwa road is a nightmare. Do we still have this type of road in Imo State? This is really, really sad and unfortunate. One would wonder that in a generation like this, or in a yes, in a generation like this, we are still experiencing this type of uh, bad situation leadership bad roads it is sad and unfortunate one would wonder what has uh, the governor of Imo state been doing does it mean that he has not seen that road has he not applied that road or is he not getting reports from the people of the state that that road needs to be uh, visited a reasonable governor who uh, knows what he's doing and who has or feels the pain of his people should have attended to this road. A reasonable governor who feels the pain of the people, especially the students, if not for any other reason but for the sake of the students, should have attended to that road and have, should have done something about it. Or could it be that the students are being punished or the people of that location are being punished come to think of it before we even heap the blame on uh hope uzodenba what happened to rocha sukurucha because according to the report the past administration that is uh emeka hedio has administration started the project on the road so let's take it up from rocha sukurucha's administration what did Richards do? Why didn't he address the issue of this road before he left office? 
what happened despite all the roads that were said to him that he opened or he opened up so why is it that they have abandoned that road and did not do anything about it then also what happened to uh the road what happened to the project the construction after uh, emeka hit your hand left office where is the continuity that ought to be these are issues that we are supposed to talk about why are things like this in this country why is it that the leaders don't care some of them their children school abroad some of them their children are no longer in nigeria some of them their children cannot even come close to nigeria or some some states in the country not talk of attending schools look at the schools you know that the children are going to as in children of nigerians are going through look at what they are suffering imagine must we protest before the government knows that they have to do something most student protests before the government wake up to their responsibilities this is really sad and unfortunate i stand to be corrected nigerian leaders are indeed heartless let's take a few reaction and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story imagine Nigerian federal government is a compilation of looters and thieves. Look at a federal road in the worry. The constitution of Nigeria was designed to make heads of state and presidents rogues. There should be a legislation to hand over all the federal rules to the state government where they are domiciled. Those President Mohammed Buhari knows. Does President Mohammed Buhari knows this road in Oweri is a federal road? Of course, he does not know. So the Constitution is useless. This is sad and unfortunate. Ima Amadi says, "May God punish all Nigerian leaders." Chris Beniard says, "Nigeria." Our leaders are just too wicked. Of course, they are wicked. Okay, Chuku Gerald says, Where is that stupid governor and what has he been doing? This is so bad. What are the leaders doing in office? Just imagine, just take a look. This is really, really sad and unfortunate, honestly speaking. Where did we go wrong? A whole federal university. Look at the roads, how murky they are. Look at how vehicles definitely cannot plow, plow these roads. How, do, how would vehicles plow this road is the question. How would vehicles plow this road? Look at what these children are going through. Look at what they do. They have to pay through their nose for transportation. They have to pay through their nose to get to school. And look at what they go through. This is sad and unfortunate. The government of the day needs to do something. Hope Uzadinba must wake up to the realization that he has a job to do. Even if it means that this is the only road he will walk this year. He should go ahead and fix this road. For the sake of these children, for the sake of the students, this road, Ihiagwa Nekede Road, has to be done. Regardless of if it is a federal road or not. This is really, really sad. These are my views and my thoughts, and I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. Be that as it is, guys. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.